Hello guys and welcome back on my YouTube channel, as always, I hope you all are doing great. A lot of you guys were asking me about how to perform a speed unlock on Decathlon Riverside 500E and if it is technically possible to modify the standard speed limit of 25 km per hour. And my answer is yes and no. In general, there are three different ways to do that. But before doing that, just be aware that modifying electronic components of your e-bike may damage it. Be aware also about legal issues. Every e-bike sold in Europe comes with a standard speed limit of 25 km per hour. If you will modify your bike, your warranty will not cover any damage. Another important point worth being mentioned, you can be stopped by the police to verify why your bike is riding so fast. And if they will find out that you modified your bike's controller settings and the maximum speed, you are risking to have some serious problems. Next important point, you can overheat your motor and your battery life will be heavily reduced. You are performing this speed unlock on your own responsibility and your own risk of damaging your bicycle and having some troubles after. First way to ride faster is to modify wheel size in service menu. Just press light on and off button for about 5 seconds and you will jump into settings menu. But unfortunately this method only works on Rockrider EST100. You can modify your wheel size from 28 to 24 and by doing that you will hack the speedometer. Your bike will be assisting you up to 30-33 km per hour. I already did it on EST100 of my friend's bike and it worked just fine. But on my Riverside 500E there is just no such option in the menu. As you can see, I'm trying to scroll in this menu, but I'm not able to find how to change my wheel size. Unfortunately, I found something, but this is definitely not the right thing. I think you can buy a display for EST100 and you can try to connect that display to your Riverside 500E. Personally, I have not been able to try this method but you can try. I don't think it will change something because it's about controller, it's not about the screen. The second method is to replace the standard built-in controller with a new one. The brain of this e-bike is its controller. It's a mini computer that is hidden inside this compartment under the battery and it controls your speed limit, the amount of energy your battery delivers to the motor, etc. It is programmed on 25 km per hour. As it is a legal request for any e-bike sold in Europe, you can buy a different controller and you will unlock the speed limit without any major issues. But be aware that everything is glued inside and you can damage your bike by doing that. You are doing it on your own risk. By using cheap third-party controllers, you can overheat your motor or even have an accident because of it. More powerful controllers will be much bigger in size and they will not fit inside the standard controller compartment. Well, it's a bit tricky and you are not sure that any given controller will work with your motor. I already ordered mine and I'm still waiting for the delivery. I just wanted to try and to see how it works, what it does. The third method is to buy a second front wheel motor and a second additional battery. Two motors will push my bike like crazy. In my opinion, it is the only way to perform a speed unlock on this e-bike. The advantages of this method are multiple. You are not modifying your bike, you are just adding an additional motor. You can always remove it if you want. It will extend your maximum range distance because now you will have two batteries and two motors. I will buy a 1500 watt super powerful motor and a 48 volt huge capacity battery. It will give me a maximum speed of 70 to 80 km per hour and a maximum range of about 200 km. It's more than enough for a big city like Paris. 
I think I will be able to travel to another cities located nearby as well. Since it will have two motors, my e-bike will be all-wheel drive model. It will ride even better in the muddy terrain if one day I will go off-road or something like that. I will be using my standard rear wheel motor and standard 36 volt battery to start driving and then I will shift to my second more powerful motor to ride even faster without even me pedaling and helping it. And when I will need to slow down I will be shifting back to my standard rear wheel motor in a city mode for example. If you will add an additional more powerful battery you will be able to install a power socket. You will be able to charge your electronic devices or transfer some juice to another e-bike. Me personally, I will be cooking outside, like making coffee in the forest, etc. I think it will be awesome. Imagine, you can connect a small electric oven and you will be able to make some fresh pizza whenever you want, even in the middle of nowhere. So guys, please comment below what are your ideas and maybe you have some other solutions how to speed unlock this e-bike. Me personally, as I mentioned before, I will be adding a second motor to be able to overcome the speed limit. I think this bike will be like a monster bike. It will ride even faster than some cars. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can find a lot of other videos about Riverside 500E on my channel, so check it out. I have a lot of other videos as well, please support me with your subscription and your likes. Thanks, see you later, bye bye.